بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئے محمد سیف اللہ برام سی ایٹی اکیڈمی ڈاٹ کام ان دس ویڈیو بی بی لرن ہاو ٹو میک تری ڈی آپ سٹیئرز ان آٹو کیڈ دیر آر سیورل ویز ٹو میک تری ڈی آپ سٹیئرز آر آپ والز ان آٹو کیڈ آئی ویل ٹرائی ٹو تیچ یو سیمپل میتر سو زوم ا بیٹ اینڈ یو کین do zooming by Z enter and area selection or by mouse scroll button so I will uh, in enter B O for boundary and pick point and pick inside of your stairs then press enter so this is how we created boundaries you also can draw rectangles over there now for making 3d remember uh, you must know how our stairs are uh, how much our stairs are uh, in this drawing we have 15 stairs and my wall height will be 11 feet so first I will convert my feet into inches so CAL for calculator and we have 11 feet multiply 12 in 1 feet we have 12 inches now how much there will be in 11 feet so press enter we have 132 inches now our stairs are 15 so divided calculator again and 132 divided by 15 I want to know about my riser height so that I could extrude my uh, stairs with with the exact height so 132 divided by 15 press enter now we have 8 feet 8 inch 8.8 uh, 8 inches height of our stair so I will extrude it EXT for extrude and select your stairs now press enter and give it a height of 8.8 inches this is how we calculated before now switch to one of the isometric view for example southwest and you can see here and here in uh, wireframes I will select uh, conceptual so you can see the result of our extrusion now you can switch back to 2d wireframe or, or select you have to select se isometric so this is okay again now this i will select uh, 3d head and visual style and uh, right click on o track settings and clear all just select endpoint now move it we had uh, to move one by one you can switch to southwest isometric view and move your steps one by one
this is the easiest way to model your stairs or to convert your 2d stairs into 3d now di for distance so 3 feet and 2 inches now 3p for 3d pull line to fill up this area start from this point click here click here and click here and you can extrude it 3 feet 2 inches control z extrude now you can also enter like this 3 feet 2 inches and move it copy it so this is done now you also can do it for this portion also again south west and make your design 3 p 3p power 3d pull line extrude 3 p 2 inches so now we will extrude it except of minus 3 plus 3 feet 2 inches or you can move it later you want and then copy it So this is how we filled up our stairs. Now switch to uh, 2D wireframe and uh, you can select one of this uh, view for example right or left and now select UNI pole union select all and press enter. Switch to isometric view and you will see how we unioned our drawing so this is how it works now for the handrail uh, you can extrude a circle or you can make a 2d design like this and then reg or you can also boundary it region and rev revolve select your object press enter click here and click here and then press enter so this will be our handrail design now 3r for 3d rotate select object press enter click here and click downwards now I will move my object there so M4 move click here and then you can move it for example 1 inches I am not putting it here because here is all already a wall and to the outside also will be a wall so no need for the exterior side now you can copy it so for the copy co for copy and this will be my base point so settings clear all and endpoint to make your object move easily okay this will be my base point now click here click here click here click here and click here now take a copy of 4 inches and here I will have to apply a 
3D mirror. So in the modify panel, we have different option in the 3D operations, 3D mirror. I will select both these objects, press enter and now I will turn on mid point OK. This will be our mirror point. So click here, click here and go upwards and now press enter. Again control Z modify 3D operations 3D mirror select both these objects press enter and turn on midpoint click here click here and click uh, upwards and then press enter so this is how you can mirror your 3d object now i will pause my video to place these objects so same method for copying our objects select this point as a base point and then select all these points now for the handrail over uh, i will draw a 3d pulley line so on the old track i will click right click on it settings clear all and i will turn on center point okay now i will try to draw a 3d pull line on the center point of these objects click on every center point click on every center point of the object so you will have to draw it like a manual object now this is ok now for the sweep I will try to insert or to activate on toolbar right click and modeling we have a sweep sweep here you also can apply sweep we have sweep here so C for circle and uh, I want it 2 inches and now sweep select the object and then sweep path this is how you can create control Z try another one C circle 1 inches and now sweep select this one press enter and select this line now you also can extrude this so for this uh, you will have to apply extrude solid editing and extrude passes select the face press enter and click here and then you will have to give it a distance of 6 inches again enter apply it here rotate it a bit with my recorder it, it won't work so i will rotate it and i will pause the video for so i will zoom a bit and modify solid editing extrude passes and click here press enter click here and i will give it a distance of six inches again enter now we have an option of spare so activate spare select center point and you can give it 1.5 its radius again spare 
click here and 1.5 you can union it later if you want so this is how you can create your 3d stairs so that's it i hope you will like my videos if you like my videos do subscribe my channel like it and share it see you in next videos bye